I still have to work on my house today. I finished my house. It's all done. It's all oh, purdy. Good for you. Good I know. for you. It is good for me. It is. It's really good for me and not good for you because you have to build things still. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. John here, and I'm joined once again uh, with Lucas. Hey, hey, Love Cubs, how you doing, bud? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Today we are going over all the uh, the wonderful world of YouTube and all the YouTubers that either used to play Minecraft and no longer do or have just kind of uh, with withered, withered away, pun intended. And um, uh, we're not talking specifically about anyone that like passed away, like Technoblade or anything like that. Rest in peace, Technoblade. But uh, we'll get into those channels that have just kind of veered away from their their old school ways. <laughs> sound yes, good? Exactly. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> right. When you think of that right off the bat, I, I know who you might think of <laughs> right off the bat because you work pretty closely with said person. Yeah, I have a pretty uh, close connection with what I would consider to be a retired Minecraft YouTuber for sure. Uh, 100%. Uh, popular MMOs. Popular MMOs. Pat. Good old Pat. Yes. He's kind of the uh, reason that we thought about this conversation. I just, I, I talk to Pat pretty much on a daily basis. So Right. <laughs> it's, uh, he's, um, what, what's, what's the word that we want to use for, for his channel specifically? It's still, no, it still has views. It still gets. Well, it's still getting views like crazy. He's yeah. still getting like more views per month than like YouTubers who upload daily right now. Right. It's, it's nuts. It's. It is nuts, but people are watching him for like the nostalgia reasons, right? They're going back, they're watching all of his old videos. Right, and... exactly. I think, and I think that's going to be the gist of most of the people that do watch a lot of these channels, these older channels that we're going to be talking about. Is it's going to bring back the nostalgia factor uh, for, yes. for a lot of them? But is that what you want to do for a living? I don't know. I don't know, but um, yeah, I mean, most of Pat's old videos, people really like the Lucky Block series. We touched on that a little bit last uh, block talk. Oh yeah, for sure. And then the challenge games and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I think that a lot of that stuff is very, uh, it brings back good memories of back in the day when, you know, Minecraft was first launched into the scene and when it started becoming super popular, specifically here on YouTube, which is what kind of made Minecraft popular to begin with. Right. Absolutely. I mean, most of these retired YouTubers kind of are like the opening scene or not the opening scene, but they're kind of what introduced everybody to Minecraft on YouTube in their own way. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. There. I mean, when I, when I think of YouTube as a whole, uh, other than watching stuff like, uh, Higa TV with Ryan Higa, um, most of the stuff that I watched was probably 90% of it was Minecraft videos. Right. A hundred percent. That's kind of what got me into Minecraft to begin with. Anyways, it's what got me, more more so into my because my, my kid wanted to play minecraft for the most part so you know i played with him but it got me more excited about it realizing that there's a lot more to it than just running around and breaking blocks and building little huts <laughs> you know right yeah there's a there's a lot more of a game too and i had no idea because i was totally freaking clueless clueless to the game and it's not like on the xbox 360 there is one but there isn't much of a, a tutorial to show you what the world is all about you know what right, i mean you gotta jump in and Hope for the best. Exactly. So when you get to watch others do the things that you're trying to do and you're like, that's freaking cool and uh, get further into it, then it it creates that love for the game, which it does for, for any game, right? If somebody's in love with Fortnite but doesn't know how to get past certain things, doesn't know how to do things very well, they watch some YouTube videos of some some pros playing, they'll, they'll maybe have a better appreciation for these things because they're like, oh, okay, I can change this because of X, Y, Z. Right. Now the channel. Who's the so when you when you think of um, other other Minecraft YouTubers, so the popular MMOs. So when it was Pat and Jen when they were together, uh, I, we watched a lot of popular MMOs. So when, the the fact that he's never changed his intro uh, to this very day <laughs> is dude. There's so many comments on all of his videos with about how he's not using the intro on his new podcast and stuff. Oh, oh, that's right, because he started a podcast. Yes, he started a podcast, which I'm editing, but. Yeah, <laughs> but that is so, weird. So did he put that on his existing channel or did he put that on a secondary channel, like a Pat 2.0 or something? He's done one channel with uh, kind of introducing the fact that he's doing a podcast channel. And then he did another video kind of talking about where Jen is, what she's up to, that kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. That's and... interesting. She she was she she was uh, the, the topic, the subject of topic for for his podcast. 
for one of his podcasts, yeah. Uh, and he brought that to his main channel for any fans to kind of ask questions about them. I mean, Jen's living her own life. We talked. I talked to Jen once in a once in a blue moon. I have her right. on some social media. But she deleted her Instagram. So. She's back here on the West Coast now. Yes, somewhere yeah. on the West Coast. Yeah, I'm she's not, gonna... not announced it publicly. So. No, no, no. We're not going to specify that information. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Not even remotely close. We just we just know she's on the West Coast. Yeah. Um. We we, we we've seen Instagram photos and stuff like that. So we we know she's over here somewhere. And she's deleted them now. Her her entire Instagram. So has she really? Yeah. Oh, very interesting. She is kind. Of, I'm pretty sure she's completely retired. Like I think she has zero intention on ever coming back to uh, YouTube. And Pat says he's he's going to come back to play YouTube or Minecraft again. Maybe he's waiting to have like a significant girlfriend, not a crazy one who's going to ruin everything for him. <laughs> you know that does make it challenging when you're trying to do the thing you love as a career, and the person you're with is basically saying no, you can't do that. Or not, say, no, you can't do that, or it's just not the right fit, right? Like, right. there's a certain expectation, and that's one thing Pat had mentioned, is every time he brought a girl onto the channel, everyone always compared her to, to how Jen. Jen used to be. Absolutely. There, there's never going to be another Jen. There's never going to be another mm. uh, girl gamer who's kind of as funny to watch as Jen was. No, I think she was, she had her very, She's a. she was a very unique character, especially when she's on the channel, because because of her laugh. Because she was known to fall into holes. I even in, in my uh, my epic world, I even have a, a chicken that was stuck in a, a well that I named Jen because she was because <laughs> that that was her thing, right? Then this was years falling ago, obviously. Holes. You know, yeah, always falling into things. Anyway, so um, yeah, yeah. There's no real replacing Jen. It's just I I don't I don't know why why he sees the need to replace her though. He did a lot of videos before. She was on his videos to begin with, but if they were more entertaining with her involved, obviously. No, for sure. And I feel like he's done a couple videos. Like he did a video with me on his main channel. He did a video with Ethan. He's done some single solo videos and they just didn't do as well as he had hoped. And instead of continuing trying to make it do well and working on it. Right. He just kind of like decided, just... you know, people want to see me with another girl and that's the, his main focus is that's what he needs to do. He needs a partner. Okay, I get yeah. it. You know, um, there was somebody else that we used to watch uh, when when Minecraft was, like, in first thing in my, my vision was, I used to watch a lot of Sunday, right? I never watched Sunday. Right, yeah, I think you mentioned that before, is that I, I used to love his character. His, his persona is so much different than it is in real life, right? It's okay. very fun loving and very, I mean, it's, it's intended to get at, attract kids. <laughs> I get it. Right. Um, and I, I'm always a child at heart and he was always fun to watch. And I, I like the fact that, you know, he was, um, ex military and then he decided to, 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 uh, do his own thing and take off and, and, uh, start this YouTube channel out of his parents' freaking kitchen and, uh, ended up doing this for me in my eyes at least was this wonderful freaking task of of building this channel and at one point he brought in a professional person to play sky factory with and that's the first series i really watched with him um, i i want to say professional because it was somebody that's supposed to be better than him at at the the modded minecraft aspect of things okay it ended up being sunday was a lot more <laughs> adapt to the 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 modded minecraft because he was able to do a lot more things than craner was when craner first joined him really craner was the one he brought in right craner was the one he okay. brought in to help him with the the things of minecraft and i found another village anyway so <laughs> you're welcome uh, he had craner had this persona this really high pitch crackly voice and at some point, people realized that that was not his real voice because he used his re regular voice in a video, and people were furious that he used really? this voice. I'm like, it's just a persona, people. Get <laughs> I over mean, it. A lot of YouTubers have that, where they have like a different voice for their absolutely for how they record. Absolutely, 100. percent So I didn't quite understand the hate towards him because I've never hated Craner, but I've always known that he was. I'm not going to say super negative things about him because he's. He's fine, but he's always been a bit of a... I'm going to use this word very, very lightly and very, very lightheartedly because I don't mean it in a super negative uh, tone. He's a bit of a user. And, okay. And what I mean by that is uh, he 
uh, was always on the coattails of somebody else big, and he did that recently again with like with Jelly and what Jelly and Slogo, and I don't Jelly know Jelly and Slogo. They brought him in. He didn't necessarily use them. They brought him in. Uh, they had their falling out with Quebecop, and they needed a, another person to join them. And yeah, they were a thing for I don't know how many years, two or three years, two or three years, and then they split off themselves, right? Yeah, Craner had some issues. I mean, I know a little bit about it through Pat, just because. Them two Pat partnered up too. Friends. Yeah, them two partnered up too for a minute, right? Well, they've kind of always been friends. They did a lot of uh, like hanging out. They would go to each other's countries and kind of make some vlogs here and there. Really? But um, yeah. So Pat was just there. I want to say three or four months ago. Craner had invited them out to try to help him sober up a little bit. I'm okay. For something, I don't know what I'm looking for. Um. <laughs> Help him sober up a little bit, and that didn't really end up working out. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but he ended up finding someone who actually helped him sober up, and that was good for him. But that's good, dude. That's good. That's really yeah. good because that's important to me. It's very important because uh, we we know a lot of people that struggle with with uh, that issue, and it's not it's not a fun task by no, any for means. Sure. You know what I mean? It's not an easy thing to do. So I'm really happy that it's going well for him, anyways. Absolutely. But um, yeah. So Craner had that falling out with uh. Slogo and Jelly for very similar reasons to what Pat's been going through right now and other anxiety issues. And they actually did a big, um, Jelly and Slogo had a podcast for a while. Do they really? And Craner came on and explained what happened and how or why he fell out and that kind of stuff. Right. It's like the information I'm giving is kind of public knowledge to some extent. So. Okay. Okay, good. So well, I'm not like throwing anyone not, under a bus. We're not here. like, we're not spreading rumors. That's all that matters. No. Exactly. Uh, another YouTuber that just so they, they they fell off for a little while, then they came back. Uh, we've all heard of them, Stampy Long Nose or Stampy Long Head, depending on <laughs> who you talk to. Uh, yeah, he he uh, was doing the whole Minecraft thing, doing his lovely world, and that's pretty much all he really did was his lovely world, right? Yeah, that's what everyone knew him for, anyway. Uh, exactly, and uh, he decided he's not going to do that for a while. He he stopped a, a few years back. Um, and stopped doing it altogether. And then he came back like a year ago and started doing his lovely world again. And people were super ecstatic. And he just finished his final episode like a week ago. Oh, like he's finished, 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 finished. Like he finished the entire series. He called it quits. Oh, no. This series is no more. And uh, he explained it as he, he literally said th these words. He said that I don't want to be the channel people come to just for nostalgia. For the, right. just the I nostalgia mean, factor. That does not what he yeah. wants to do for a living is people come to him just for the nostalgia factor. He wants to be new, fresh content. And I get, I get why he says that. I get why he says that, but he became that channel four years ago, I think. You're absolutely right. You're 100% right. And I feel that, I mean, unless, he, it sounds like he's not going to do Minecraft at all, but he's, he's, gonna, he's still going to milk some of his channel. He even said so. Like he's going to milk some of this video of him ending the series <laughs> okay and, and kind of go over why and this that the other thing and his favorites what are you oh you're an enderman oh i need you <laughs> dang it um yeah i remember watching stampy lomnos i mean he was honestly he was the first youtuber that uh i started watching play minecraft yeah and yeah anytime i see his videos it's always nostalgia when i saw that he left i was like oh that's kind of sad but he's been doing it for many years so it kind of makes sense so when he came back to it i was a little shocked just because i wasn't expecting it oh no i yeah when he came back because he started playing oh shoot what was he playing for a little while there i can't remember what it was just some random games that he decided to pick up i don't know if it was kind of like dan tdm does where he plays spider-man or whatever the heck it is that he wants he finds entertaining um yeah I, and i loved dan's old minecraft videos but clearly doesn't do that anymore either because of the same same reason he got bored of it it's not something he loves anymore. And then you can go to YouTubers like, you know, like Mumbo and Green and whatnot, and they're still going super strong. They're going super strong, but like even Mumbo, he's uh, pulled it back. I think it was last year he took a bit of a break from YouTube. He did. And I want to say it was like six to eight months, maybe longer. But, but, he, uh, but he took a break from YouTube as a whole, not just because of Minecraft specifically, but he was, he was a little burnt out. <laughs> yeah, and he decided that he just doesn't want to do it for right now, and he took he took a bit of a break. And you see that happen a lot from time to time, and it blows me away that a lot of content creators don't take regular weekly breaks. Like like they'll go seven days strong, not making content, but you know between the editing and the writing and the everything else, they just don't oh, stop. For sure. I'm like, I mean, 
I don't understand how some YouTubers don't burn out quicker. I mean, I'm barely a YouTuber. I mean, I've uploaded 500 videos now. Yeah. And I've been burnt out this past year. And I don't upload as much as everyone does. Yeah, exactly. And not just burnt out. You get discouraged sometimes when you see things that are not going the way you want them to. No, for sure. And I mean, I know exactly when I became burnt out. Oh, yeah. Same. I know. So that, do you. Like, yeah, exactly when. Like, to the when, point. When, when do you think? Uh, probably right before right before your series ended. No, for me, it was our moon uh 100 yes. days on the moon. Oh my god, yes, because I had such a hard time putting that back together. We had we we spent so much time working on that video. We edited it for so long, we recorded for so long, and it did horrible in views. It did not do well, and I was really because we were kind of playing the not 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 using but playing the uh um hermitcraft it, playing into the hermitcraft lore where we we created the reason why the moon was coming closer to the earth and crash into the earth yeah t did it by the way everybody um <laughs> yeah it was my fault it was my fault it was my fault absolutely 100 percent um but yeah. we created that lore that didn't exist before they they had they had a null point there was no real reason for it it just happened and the series ended and we created the reason for that and we figured okay this is gonna be fun because there's gonna be people that are crossing over we weren't expecting like millions of views or anything but i was expecting a few thousand views i was for me i was expecting to break 10 to twenty thousand. i was expecting to thing... break at least a couple thousand let alone a freaking couple hundred that was terrible yeah it was horrible i mean at the time my views were getting a few thousand or my videos were getting a few thousand views per video right so like, right right i'm like this video is gonna do well i'm gonna hit like maybe 20,000 on this video. Oh yeah, for happy. you you should have been. Yeah, for you you should and have it, gotten easily in the in the in the five digit no problem. And it barely broke 4,000 in the first like month of it being up. I don't oh, even know, I know what it's at now. I haven't I have no idea. Moment. I haven't looked at it in a while. <laughs> my I think my uh my short um my 1 minute clip that I put on TikTok did sub substantially better <laughs> than the full video by any yeah, means. Yeah, I I want to say the same for me actually. <laughs> <laughs> And don't but, get me uh, wrong, yeah, so, um, TikToks are fun, but they're not. That's not YouTube. It's just to drive towards YouTube. That's the whole point. Yeah, exactly. Of it. So, um, yeah. So I mean, that kind of burnt me out after one failed video. And some YouTubers, they make, they spend so many hours, so many days, pumping out daily videos where they have multiple failures, but they have multiple successes too. So maybe that's what drives them. Maybe that's why they don't get burnt out as easily. Yeah. So they they're gonna, you know, okay, this this video did crap, but the next one did phenomenal. And the, the, we're like, okay, this one did crap, and the next one did the same. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Okay. Like, every video we upload does crap. So yeah. Dang it. We can spend hours on editing. We can spend hours on recording. We can make high quality videos, and it's just not getting viewed. It's just not getting viewed, and that's that's really tough uh, on my psyche. <laughs> it really, yeah. it really does affect me negatively. So uh, I can imagine that um, so, somebody who's getting, you know, a um, they're going from a million views, jumping down to a few thousand views. And I saw this on Craner's channel is I went to his social blade. I do follow like specific YouTubers, uh, content creators on, on social blade from time to time, uh, like unspeakable and stuff like that. And you can see when their drop off is. And it's funny to me because, um, that's not funny because it's, because they're, they're jumping drastic. They're making drastic jumps from, you know, millions of views to these tens of thousands or even single digit thousands uh, of views and it's kind of sad to watch the drop off uh, no for sure it's not funny it's interesting to see it's interesting to see yeah because i see um what's his name squid did the same thing all of a sudden his channel just took a dive he's no longer relevant right and, and it's sad because he does put out good in my opinion at least he puts out good content but the public clearly doesn't see that yeah or yeah i think the public maybe didn't see it but i think there's some play somewhere in the youtube algorithm that just like hides videos from certain people like they don't get recommended and i don't know how it works but well if that's the case like, i think you're right i think i really do think you're you're very very correct but it's bs because you see a lot of these new youtubers that are coming up and they're coming up a lot stronger like you see sunday he does freaking what do you call it still plays uh oh shoot what is it uh modified among us what okay I've not been interested in Among Us in literal years, <laughs> but for some reason that he has a huge following and still gets millions of views on Among Us, and it blows me away right. that that's the case. Well, I mean, one example or one reason why I think there is some kind of weird control behind YouTube's algorithm or whatever. I mean, 
Log.zip would be a channel that I would say to be semi-retired. He uploads maybe once a week now, but before he took a bit of a break last year while I was still working for him. But he but and he had all these other channels that he was running. So yes, he took a break on his main channel, but he still had Crafty and everything else still going he had strong, right? Crafty, he had um Kipper, which I forget I forget his name. Uh Drew maybe. I forget his name. The actual but, uh, um, person's name. Yeah, and then they had Obby, which was Allison, and then that channel did not take off, so they rebooted it because they were like, okay, we use Crafty to uh, advertise it, which is apparently the downfall, so they rebooted it, and it just did not take off. It had amazing content. It really? was It was kind of recycling Crafty's projects, okay. but with a twist, so that way it kind of appealed to girl gamers and guys who like girl gamers right i mean i i prefer to watch more female gamers for the most part except for the storytellers i'm not a big fan of the the whole storytelling bit like the no the i, I really hate the, the role-playing stuff i'm not a big fan of it i mean i've yeah. done i've done a few role-playing stuff but just on my own and wrote my own script they're tedious number one so i have a lot of respect for the fact that they put these together but i can't i i can't i'm not entertained by them you get what i'm saying it depends though like i mean a lot of them are guided towards children. That, that's very true. Right. Some of them are kind of creepy, actually, guided yeah, towards they are. children. They're like kind of inappropriate <laughs> when you watch the context and they're clearly headed towards kids. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know about this, this stuff, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, some, of it, some of it out there is a, a li little uh, beyond um, uh, normal, I guess. Right. But uh, yeah, so. With the log, he uh, recently came back before I actually ended up leaving their uh, team. He started uploading more. I did a few projects for his channel, and he uploads like the videos we make for Log.zip's channel are pretty freaking amazing. We're making custom mobs that'll have custom abilities, have custom items, and everything is 100% custom and original and new to YouTube. And even right now, he's getting as many views as I am on some of my videos or some of my past videos. You're kidding. Like he's getting four thousand views sometimes, five thousand views. That's insane. And like, how can a YouTuber with millions of subscribers be Get getting that so low of little? Views? Yeah, that seems like it's being suppressed for some reason. Right, and I think there's something on the back end. I'm trying to pull up his channel right here right now. That's why my game's frozen. Sorry, everybody. Like, <laughs> okay, so he's got forty-four. Like he's averaging around forty-four thousand now. But like the first twenty-four hours, it's up. It gets around four thousand views. That's not very good because usually your first no. 24 hours is where you peak. Right. Unless it's a tutorial video. Those peak later on. But for gameplay videos, they peak right off the bat. Yeah. So I, I don't understand why someone with as many subscribers as Locked Zip, even if they are like nostalgia subscribers, he's still uploading videos that are really high quality and really good videos. And he's not getting the views. Like, I, I think there's some correlation to someone at YouTube trying to control what people watch. Um, you know, I, the, the, the the quote unquote algorithm has always been questioned in my mind. So yeah, <laughs> I've 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 always like there's there's been times where I I did a test years and years and years ago. Uh, we started getting a, a ton of views, and then all of a sudden we didn't. Like it just dropped off. Like okay, I'm making the same content, and all of a sudden I'm not getting any more uh, any more of a push from from YouTube, and it's. It's frustrating because, you know, you put all this effort into it. And then I decided I'm going to start up another channel just for the hell of it. And, and I did. And um, I uploaded the same video in that channel and it got like the views that it would have got normally. And to, really? Yeah. To me, that felt like, OK, why? Why is this happening? I, I'd, I'd like to know what what is it that's causing this, this suppression. creating a suppression um, and I, I could never figure that out. So I'm like, okay, do I continue uploading to this new channel, which I don't want to do because I put so much time and effort into the first channel, you know, right. like, do I want to create a whole new freaking channel and, and actually run with it? No, I really don't. I, I just want to know why my channel is getting suppressed and what I could do to fix that. And I, I think you're right. You, you see a lot of these YouTubers, these bigger YouTubers that fall off that probably feel the same way at some point. They have to. Yeah, I mean, they people can say that you and I we don't make good con we make decent content in my opinion sometimes better I, content than other people. I I but agree, but we're you not can big. say we don't make uh, not as good content, but you cannot say that about people like Log Zip's channel for one. 
I mean, or Allison's channel or Kipper's channel. Those con that content was ecstatic. It had custom made project. It had custom editing done. It had custom thumbnail artists. It had paid. Every, the entire thing was produced by a team of forty to fifty people. Exactly. So for that to be the case is like there's no way. It's physically impossible. You, yeah, you cannot say the content is not good because the content is good and it still doesn't do well. Right. So I, I, I yeah, I guess we should get back on topic a little bit. I can see why some YouTubers get burnt out because it just doesn't work out. I think there's something in the algorithm that says, yeah, we're not going to show your content anymore. I think you're right, 100. percent And I, it's, it's, it's super discouraging, but it's obviously a fact of the matter. Um, um what's another YouTuber you remember, uh, watching that just doesn't just doesn't <laughs> well, just... we talked about him briefly i think we brought him up like in a passing sentence but dan tdm was dan tdm is one of my he i watched a... him alongside of kind of stompy stampy long nose but he was for my modded content oh right I so mean, i watched his crazy craft series i with, love that um, stuff uh who was he with he was with think noodles and but even before think noodle when he did his his dr trioris uh escapades you know what i mean every story was i never did the lab stuff i, I loved never i stuff. love the dan tdm lab and I, I i built it you know i built the whole lab <laughs> and i built his new lab and when he moved when he moved to the new lab and it was just a blast because again it just brings that nostalgia factor and i could see why he gets burnt he got burnt out by it it was just not it's just not the same anymore for him right you know so he got but he moved on to other content so he still creates content and he still gets millions of views and he still has a, a huge subscriber base yeah i would like we had mentioned it i would say he's a retired minecraft youtuber but he still uploads a ton and people still he still gets a ton of views and everything oh yeah for sure absolutely 100 percent um there, there's a. Uh, I mentioned him in the very beginning. Not a Minecraft YouTuber by any means, but uh, this channel called Ryan Higa or Higa TV or Niga Higa. He had a bunch of different channels, and there's a group of these these guys that did sketches, right? I don't know if you ever watched them at all. I'll send you a link. Otherwise, anyway, um, okay. they're absolutely entertaining. Some of the most entertaining YouTube ever, like I've ever watched, <laughs> that isn't Minecraft related, right? And uh, he had a partner that decided to go to school, which is good on him. And he, he became an engineer, and he decided to move to San Francisco. They lived in Las Vegas. He moved to San Francisco, and he left the channel. The channel is doing okay. great. I mean, you're talking about millions, million, like 20 million views type of thing per, per video, right? Like Crafty was doing, but all the time. But their videos are very, very highly produced. There's a lot of, a lot of um, work that goes into each one, like an insane amount of work that goes into each one. So I could see them not being super profitable because – the amount of work they have to put into it. It's not just right. simply recording and posting, you know? I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into a, a single person recording and posting. Yeah, I mean, even but, even in this video right here, this is not, uh, like, obviously, I'm not going to do a whole lot of editing. We're just talking at, while we're playing game. But I, I am going through, I'm listening to the video, recording the recording, and I, I'm making sure that anything that we say that shouldn't be said is removed. Yep. Um, cutting. So, what? So this hour and a bit of a podcast is going to be three to four hours of work for us. Oh, absolutely. No, there's no there's right? no question in my mind that it becomes at least three or four hours of work. And this is a really, really basic video. You're talking about something yeah. that doesn't need any editing. But there's does... like no editing involved. It just revol involves us sitting down, finding time to record it, going through the entire video, cutting what we need to cut, rendering, making a thumbnail. And uploading and working on all the tags for that. like Exactly. And, there's and, a lot of work for a simple video. And, and then there's people who, like you were talking about, mass, like not mass produce, they produce a very expensive video. Right. And they have a, you know, they have a crew, <laughs> you know what I mean? So they yeah. have, they have to pay all these people and I, and I, good on them. I, I'm, I'm happy for people that, that hire, um, that hire people because I feel that that one, it, it helps the economy. Um, two, it helps people that that need uh need a good gig and they usually pay these people well not every content creator pays well let me <laughs> let me put that out there really really That's quickly <laughs> probably for sure I, I don't know too well from experience but i know from offers from other content creators i'm I, not going to drop any names i'm not going to drop any either i've gotten at... a few offers that are terrible <laughs> horrible well, i got when i left log.zip i was like okay i need to when i got let go i needed to find a new job yeah and i got offers that were coming in at 25 percent what i was making with log.zip yeah and that's like, that's are, probably are pretty but that's probably pretty average though and that's the scary part yeah and it's you know like I mean? 
it's it was around minimum wage and minimum wage isn't the minimum amount you need to survive in Ontario anyways. Minimum wage isn't the amount you need to survive in almost any in almost any yeah. state or country for that matter. Minimum wage is it's called minimum wage for a reason. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's just to get by and you if you're if you rent a place or you buy a place or whatever it is, plus you have a car and you have cell phone bills and you or and and you and you want to, you know, eat um, you you have to drop one of those. Yeah. <laughs> minimum wage doesn't allow for that. Well, minimum wage barely allows for rent coverage in here. <laughs> right. I mean, our minimum wage, luckily in California, has gone up, but it's not still not enough to to be a living wage. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, so for we're, sure. Because we're at about like twenty bucks an hour. So when YouTubers are making a million dollars a year and they're offering their people who are actually making the content for them. Twenty-five to forty thousand dollars a year. It's super insulting because they wouldn't like. Sure, they could spend the time and make content for themselves, but they still wouldn't get the quality of content that they would get. No, without that person, they're literally working off the backs of their employees, and I don't think that's right. That's with any company, right? Any company that says I'm only going to pay you minimum wage because that's all you're worth, um, but they turn around and they buy the big house and they turn around and buy all the expensive cars while their employees are living paycheck to paycheck and struggling to pay for food, you know, uh, yep. I feel that those are, that, that's the problem. That's our, that's our average problem that we have right now is, is, is that. And then I've said countless times that if I ever became Pat Rich, I would have like editors that actually enjoy working for me. I'd have people who actually enjoy working for me and we're well paid. And right. I mean, I'm going to use my, I had a, a, sh- a store a while back and we made a, a lot of money. I'm not going to specify what kind of store, um, but we made a lot of money in this store. We paid our, uh, our clerks, the people that held, handled the registers, uh, $60,000 a year. And that was just to, to handle money. Yep. There was, you know, because we were making money. So it's like, why not, why not pay, pay your, pay your people to be happy to work for you and never want to quit. And then that's that's uh, I think a big thing for me is you have a lot of turnover for a lot of these these guys because they have they work them to death you know <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they're like well why can't you work more and it, it kills me it just kills me anyway I can get a we can get into a whole freaking hour on just freaking labor <laughs> <laughs> the the lack of freaking giving a crap about your your labor force your employees you know what I mean yeah hundred percent yeah uh, going back to our our list. Uh, there are so when we lived up in Washington, there was this YouTuber that uh, I liked, but I didn't realize was an issue. <laughs> um, I didn't realize they stopped playing Minecraft um, because he he, he loved he used to love butter. C- can you guess? Oh, uh, is it Ash? No, it's Sky. No, oh, uh, it's Sky does Minecraft. Sky yeah, yeah. does Minecraft. So Sky does Minecraft used to live right around the corner from us, right? Great okay. big great big house on the lake. <laughs> obviously because he made a lot of money um yeah but he had a studio that was like right down the street from where we lived and um which was really cool so i went over there to go apply for a job uh they, they were hiring for for editors um but i realized really quick that he no longer did my and i talked a big i talk a big game when it comes to minecraft especially when i'm trying to find work um at yeah. the time and what is this i don't know anybody from a city called blue lake anyway <laughs> <laughs> um and he's like, I don't do my Minecraft no more. <laughs> I'm like, no. okay, well, uh, and so they started what what was kind of like a podcast at the time. I don't know if they still have it. I have no idea. But I found out really quick that he wasn't very uh, a very nice individual. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't care for him anyway. So I'm like, I can't work for this guy anyway. So I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Um, I I did meet the creator of the original Sky Factory at a convention out there uh, called Vlog Fair. A vlogger fair. His, uh, his name is Bacon Donut um, and Giant Waffle. That's their gamer tags, at least. Um, he okay. ended up changing his legal name to Bacon. And no, he didn't. Yes, he did. And that's hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, sorry, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Blurb. <laughs> and this is why we have to edit people. This is why we have to edit exactly because we can't <laughs> have that kind of language in this content. Anyway, uh. so. Uh, he was super nice, and they had this little group as well, but it was a group of streamers, and he was trying to get me hired on, but uh, I didn't have the, at the time, I didn't have the skills for running uh, a stream. I didn't know much of, oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> hey, homie, you, you stay over there, okay? All right, you stay right, you stay right there. Um, anyway, so I, I wasn't able to, to work for him, but I still chat with him from time to time. Um, 
and he was on some of Sunday's videos. They they did a whole like special and whatnot with uh, with bacon donut and giant waffle. But uh, they know they no longer I don't think do any more Minecraft, which okay. is which is odd. There's a lot of there's really a lot of YouTubers that don't do Minecraft anymore. Uh, look, you can look at Captain Sparkles. Really, he the only time he really jumps into it is like when there's a new update, right? You know, and he just really goes by Jordan. Not really much of the Captain Sparkles thing anymore. Right. Uh, who else who else is out there that still that still does um that i can think of like you can think of like old school team crafted right i don't think i've ever watched any of their videos the Bayesian canadian or whatnot we met him once too they're really they're really nice but they i don't think they play minecraft anymore if they do they're not getting any freaking views from it right you know um I mean, that's, the, a, that's the same story for a lot of youtubers yeah games. yeah i think like even preston plays doesn't really do minecraft anymore right okay I don't so, know, I haven't seen any of these old time YouTubers. I haven't seen any of their videos in a long time. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a while. Who who else is out there that I can think of at the top of my head? My main YouTubers were like Pat, Jen, Stampy, and then um, Dan TDM, and then like the kind of people he played with was Ash, um, Think Noodles, and there was one other person. And Think Noodles was not really. I mean, he started playing Minecraft, but he he was not really a Minecraft YouTuber. You know, he played all the other okay. little, little games too. And he's he's my age, um, and he lives in New York. So he's old. He's old. Yeah, he's old dude. <laughs> he's an old dude. Um, they, they 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 live in New York, and so they would play. You know, via via Discord like we're doing right now, far far away from each other. Yeah, and it's and it's sad. We need to be closer. <laughs> 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 but no, so there's. There, there are YouTubers that still play, obviously, like Tommy in it, Dream. But Dream took off like a bat out of, you know what, and kind yeah. of tapered off for the most part, even though he does have, what, 30-some million subscribers? Yeah, he grew quite a bit, really, fit, really fast. Really fast. And, he, and somebody used him as an example of a really, really well-built channel, but a lot of people forget and they, they negate the fact that he had Mr. Beast to promote the heck out of him. Yeah. Like he was his, like, Minecraft I mean, protege. that's kind of the only way to succeed on YouTube nowadays is to have somebody bigger than you kind of vouch for you. Right. Or just get really, really, really lucky. And there, there's a lot of people who say, Oh, you can do this, that, or the other thing to, 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 you know, beat the algorithm. And I'm sure there is, but it's far and few between. And it has a lot more to do with luck than it is to do with the algorithm because you can study the algorithm till you're blue in the face. And, uh, uh, it, it, it does help when you have, it helps greatly when you have somebody helping promote you. Especially yep, if they're a big, big, big name. I mean, there are so many people that have, like, I've said it on Twitter before, and I've had people be like, no, you just need to make a new YouTube channel and you'll we, be fine. And it's like, why do I need to make a new channel to get better views? That's the part that doesn't, that's like, it's illogical, right? It doesn't because make any sense. There's something controlling, there is something throttling old channels who don't do what YouTube essentially wants them to do. Right, I and think sure that, you might be able to figure out what the algorithm is and what it does, and somewhat succeed. But I mean, Log.Zip is an example of that. They created Kipper and Avi, and yeah. they've had. While I was working for them, they had they started four channels, yeah, and canceled four channels because they studied the algorithm. They did everything that they needed to do, and the channels did not take off. Crafty is an example of it, yeah, but it, it's just luck. It is hundred percent luck. You can say. That you just you can do whatever you need to do for the algorithm to work, but it isn't. It's just luck. I think it's just luck. I think you're absolutely one hundred percent correct. It's just and luck. And if it's not luck, it is somebody pushing your channel. And and even to... then, like you said, it you can only push it so far, right? Because if the content is not what's wanting what the algorithm wants to push, it's still not gonna push it because you you can look at Tyler's channel. If he has something like crafty pushing it the the other channel and the other channel still doesn't do well, then you can't say that the the promoter is doing any any good for the other channel right i mean you if you push for long enough eventually that new channel is going to grow genuine fans who actually like the content that you're pumping out and thus you'll be making or getting the views every single time whether you're with that person or not i mean if like who don't need, like craner for an example yeah had a lot of outside help kind of growing and he still gets quite a few views even though he's by himself now yeah but that's just his own fan base that kind of came to him yeah exactly i mean he's always had a fan base right so it's not like he's gonna lose the core fans you're never gonna lose that so right. so uh 
you may not they may not watch anymore <laughs> you know but i think they're gonna stay subscribed but they're they're like the the kids like they do say this and pat says that said the same thing right where you know my, i think feel my fans grew up so they're gonna want to watch this content that's not necessarily true though i mean they may have grown up but that means they also matured a little bit <laughs> right and that that's what kind of what it boils down to is that uh, yes there are fan like i still have like my my fan that i had from when i had 100 subscribers to this day still comments on videos and i oh, think that's it's sweet i think that's freaking awesome so they're drop like, his name <laughs> I'll, I'll put him <laughs> i'll put him down in the uh, the description down below uh, there you go yeah yeah but uh, uh, but th the point being is that he, he does that's rare and i'm sure every the big youtubers have that too but I don't believe that he actually watches the video all the way through because I don't have any full full views. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like I get a, I get my drop off. So I think it's just out of common courtesy, or just being extremely polite, or they're just a very nice person. And I'm going to go with they're just a very <laughs> nice person. <laughs> I do wonder if there's something with the average view duration. I mean, I've had like with these podcasts, I've got one viewer, Raz, I believe, is Raz and Mithy, but Raz, he, well, I'm pretty sure he's watching the whole video because he's like literally typing responses to us talking throughout the video you know what i've gotten more comments on these videos that we're not doing anything and i feel like this is so I, i'm gonna kind of gloat a little bit here i feel like this is different than a lot what a lot of people are doing because yes there are podcasts and yes there are minecraft let's plays this is not really either <laughs> this is kind of a mix <laughs> of two guys playing minecraft and just talking right and i think and liam said this but my son uh said this that that that's really that's really neat that no one's doing that i'm like no that, that can't be the case and i looked it up and sure enough this isn't something that's normal this isn't something that everybody is doing type of thing and i've gotten more positive comments on these videos than i've gotten in a really long time because my previous comments are usually just questions because i did you know mod reviews or yeah. or uh what do you call it um uh, tutorials on how to install this that or the other thing so i always get questions Th these aren't questions these are people genuinely saying nice things and so i appreciate <laughs> you guys i really do and it's you awesome make, to see you guys are the reason why we make these videos <laughs> absolutely that and a little peace of mind between us because we don't get to just play anymore <laughs> and we don't really talk to anymore i mean we text each other here and before we started doing the podcast yeah t and i would like shoot a text to each other once every week maybe every couple weeks <laughs> and that would be it that would I mean, be we it stopped, and, we stopped and, recording together for a good i mean ever since before treatment so so it's been a year right yeah so we hadn't really been talking so now we just kind of have every week we sit down and we just talk for an hour just, i mean we're talking before we actually start recording the podcast we talk and then a little after, bit after and, yeah exactly so it's just nice to have like we're enjoying it absolutely you guys I, seem to be enjoying it exactly so i appreciate you guys and i appreciate the time with you lucas so thank you very much i really do this is this thank is you. actually a, these, a lot of fun dude these videos might do not as great as other content that we upload but it's a lot more fun to record and i enjoy this, my time with you so absolutely same here brother um where am i i'm lost <laughs> you're lost. <laughs> lost i think i finally finished my house at least the exterior of my house oh that's good I'm, yeah my interior is a little lackluster but i'm gonna build a yeah. second i think i'd build a second floor I'm, i just I'm down. finished my third floor are you oh look at you fancy pants little, really fancy house <laughs> i can't wait to see your world dude uh, yeah that's another thing too is neither one of us are on the same map so we'll never see this until we watch videos yeah, unless we, we watch, watch the videos. videos or maybe we do some podcasts here and there where hey let's join my world and let's join your world and we're that's just a good idea doing whatever in that world kind of thing that's a good idea but i still don't want to have it where we're like uh commenting on what's happening in game exactly before we actually started this podcast we looked we tried looking up retired youtubers we did and there isn't there's a lot of videos on it but there's like no articles on it so it was hard to find a list but one youtuber retired minecraft youtubers is what i looked up and one name that popped up yeah which kind of bothered me a little bit is, is pewdiepie you know you, you mentioned that earlier and i'm like you we have to discuss this because that doesn't make any sense to me. Yes, PewDiePie played Minecraft, and he, he did help. I'm not going to knock this. He did help bring Minecraft back from he from the helped, dead. Yeah, from the dead. It died. It died off pretty pretty badly at some point, right? Um, where we were getting very little to no views, but it, it came back because he helped, and I appreciate yeah. that. But 
I don't count him as a Minecraft. I count him as a Minecraft YouTuber as much as I, I count uh, Jacksepticeye as a Minecraft YouTuber. Right. I mean, They're someone not. who plays Minecraft once every couple of years isn't a Minecraft YouTuber. Exactly. Like, like I They're no longer consider Dan TDM a Minecraft YouTuber. He's not. You know what he's I mean? He's a retired Minecraft YouTuber. This yeah. He's still uploading and making YouTube videos. He's Absolutely. 100%. YouTuber but anymore. he's not a Minecraft YouTuber. Just like Sunday is not a Minecraft YouTuber. And I can't, you can't say that he is. Used to be, mm-hmm. for sure. Absolutely. He used to be a great Minecraft YouTuber. But it, that's not the case no more. <laughs> We really need to have something kind of bring back Minecraft again. Yeah, something needs to like Minecraft. It's I, I'm, I'm not going to say it's dead because it's it's still doing pretty well, and I do it's enjoy the game. Out, though, but it's slowly you can slowly see the deterioration of uh, of use across the board, and yeah. something does need to bring it back. Whether it be high pixel, well, I made this prediction three or four years ago. I was like, okay, so PewDiePie is what brought it back this time. Yeah, and then. They had announced the Minecraft movie. I was like, that's going to be perfect because it's going to be around 2023 that it comes out and it'll bring people back to Minecraft. For sure. And they canceled the Minecraft movie. You know, that along with Minecon and everything else that they say they're going to bring in and then they don't, <laughs> it's frustrating because yeah. it's. I understand Microsoft is just looking to make money, but at the same time, um, you gotta, you got to follow through, man. You can't just release, say something and just not. <laughs> I mean, as an avid movie lover, we should definitely do a podcast on movies, by the way. But yes, as an no. avid movie lover, I would really love to see a Minecraft movie. Oh, I would too, even if it was just animated and not like live action. Hopefully, yeah, because I live mean, I action would, I think would be animation. Yeah, I think live action would be weird. Like the Mario movie that came out, oh, so good. Oh yeah, the animated Mario, the the most recent one. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really good. I think about the nineteen eighties version, which was absolute no, garbage. I've never <laughs> seen that one. That is but absolute the, garbage. The animated one. I mean, I love any video game that gets a movie recreation. Like the Gran Turismo, I'm not into racing video that games. The movie at all. is so good though. It is phenomenal. And I that, we're gonna save this conversation for a separate podcast. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah. No, we can definitely so like, do a whole speech about a whole whole conversation about about uh, movies. Uh, movies that are um, video game based and, yeah, and the ones that, that suck. There are some that, that are absolute garbage too. So <laughs> I'm sure there are, but even the garbage ones, like some of them are just so bad that they're funny and they're still good. And then there's the, then there's the reverse too, right? There's the, uh, the video games that are generated based off of film series. And those, uh. a lot of the time, those are absolute trash. <laughs> But we can get into that another time. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. This was an absolute blast. Once again, Lucas, thanks again for joining. Yeah, till the next one. See ya. Bye.